And what is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993, back here for episode number 252 of WWE Turn Alert. And in order to be superior to the man, you've got to be the man. And I think Jay Uso, Friday night, may have been the man as the former right hand man to the tribal chief, the so called su future successor. For the Tribal Chief, Jey Uso made his decision after a long three-year story from a character development feud back in 2020. One of the rare times you ever saw either of the Usos get like a brief singles push while the other was out due to injury. So, as I've said recently... Jimmy Uso has been the one to just make the quick decisions. Jay's always been the one who's conflicted back and forth and many other things. It's all this back and forth. And people have even said it's all started with Jay. Roman Reigns began to build his dynasty in 2020 when he, when he had won the Universal Championship at Payback. He announced that payback is coming back in September, around the same time where Roman first got his began his current reign. And the first person he feuded with after he got the title was his cousin, Jey Uso. Wanting him, of course, to understand what was going on. Like, like, what, what, like who was the one who had to, you know, take charge in the family? And basically, he, he just... Used his family to build up a wall around him. Build up the bloodline. The Sami Zayn. The J, a, the J Uso. The Jimmy Uso. The Solo Sokoa. And as I've been saying lately, the Nagini himself as well. Paul Heyman. Now, of course, the bloodline is basically done at this point. J Uso made his decision. And first off, it looked like that the Tribal Chief had, you know, and Paul Heyman had gotten Jay right under their thumb. Whenever they had said that Jimmy Uso was not a fan of Jay being the eventual new tribal chief. And Jimmy admits it right there that is true. Again, Jimmy had already um had already uh done what he felt he should have done after all the abuse that he's taken from Roman. He finally stood up to him at Night of Champions. And of course, since January, when Sami Zayn first turned on Roman at the Rumble, um, Sami's been trying to talk sense into the Usos. And especially Jay, the person who took forever to accept Sami Zayn, was main event Jay Uso. And we finally accepted him when Sami finally stood up to Roman... Jay was the one who was conflicted. It took Jay like another month or two before he decided what was right, who really was blood and who wasn't. But of course also, still showing that soft side for Sami Zayn. And Sami continued to help to try to help the Uso get them to realize, okay, we've got your titles, yes, but I'm not gonna stop. Sami Zayn is the architect for taking down the bloodline. Now, of course, they still got to take down the tribal chief, but there's still two pieces. But yes, Jay Uso had me. I, honest to God, thought for maybe at least another month, especially because, again, who the heck is going to fight Roman at SummerSlam? If, if Cody was lined up to face Roman, but right now he's not. He's supposed to be facing Brock Lesnar in a very rare stipulation match at SummerSlam. If that was the case, then, again, I would be thinking that maybe... It, well, since that's the case now, I honestly got thought Jay would stick with the bloodline for a little bit longer. But, of course, he swerved us because... Once he was told it was true by Jimmy Uso that he Jimmy was jealous of Jay um, 
basically being next in the line to be the tribal chief. Jay went off on Jimmy. Basically, it's kind of like the little brother always had to go through the big brother. And it was it was very convincing to me that Jay was going to side with his cousin. And then, of course, when he wraps it up, he goes, So guess what? You out! And then there was a brief pause. He gets in the face. And he's, he's, he's about to super kick Jimmy. And he goes, And I'm out too! And then... When I heard that, I'm like, there we go. Wait, what? It was like one of those things where it's like he had me fully convinced he was going to super kick his brother. But instead, he super kicked his cousin. Then, of course, Solo, their their younger brother, um, of course, tried to take the both of them out, but it did not work. And then, of course, when Roman Reigns, who sold the super kick like a million bucks, was flipping out on them. And then he got a double super kick. And again, he sold the hell out of it. And it's official. We're getting the Bloodline Civil War, as they're calling it, at Money in the Bank. With the Usos taking on Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa. The Bloodline has fallen. Like I said, though, it would have been interesting, though, to see Jay side with Roman. For a few weeks. I kind of wish they would have done that. But again. It's not the case. But either way again. Just props to Jey Uso. Again. He he went from being a tag team. And yes. He still is a tag team with his brother. But. He did show us. That he has what it takes. He, He has what it takes. To be a single star. He took full advantage of the opportunity he was given when Jimmy was out injured. Roman manipulated the system to give Jay the opportunity. And he just kept like saying, I'm just trying to help you. I'm just trying to help you. While at the same time, just like brutally beating him down. And backing him into a corner until he had no choice. But to side with the tribal chief. To get Jimmy in. To eventually get Solo in. So, here comes, of course, the other question. The question that I think everybody states. Does this mean, of course, even though the bloodline is done, there's still Solo, and there's still somebody else. And again, I've been saying this since WrestleMania. And if I have time, i got to make a short on this. But ever since WrestleMania, I keep saying, yes, Solo at some point will turn on Roman. And quite frankly, a match with Roman and Solo would actually be pretty good. I would like to see that match. But who is the one piece that everybody keeps overlooking? That's the wise man himself, Paul Heyman. And I keep saying this. Jay kind of planted that seed. Because until Jay made his decision, he twice in the past two weeks said, If I'm in, he's out. And Roman said this week that this week that Paul Heyman is not the bloodlines wise man. He is the tribal chiefs wise man. Doesn't matter what everybody else thinks. He's his wise man. Because again, Cody Rhodes had taken care of the Usos. He had beaten Solo Sokoa, giving Solo his first loss, the Raw before Mania. The Usos weren't weren't at ringside. Um, Sol Sokoa got ejected from the match at WrestleMania. But who had to cause the distraction? The desperate last piece, Paul Heyman. Caused the referee's distraction for Solo to sneak right back in there. I keep saying this. The final piece to take down the bloodline is Paul Heyman. If you can get Paul Heyman separated from Roman Reigns, that's when the story will end. Again, Paul Heyman is basically Roman Reigns' Nagini. Because yes, I get it. This should have been Roman all along. But also understand this. Roman didn't go down this dark side, this power-hungry monstrosity, until he teamed up with Paul Heyman. And do you guys also remember... 
Remember this. Think about this. Roman Reigns, the only time, the only match I believe on pay-per-view he's had that didn't have a clean finish was the 2022 Royal Rumble match against Seth Rollins. He had briefly fired Paul Heyman. And Paul Heyman was not out there with him for that match. So again, is that foreshadowing a weak spot in the Tribal Chief? He needs Paul Heyman. That's why I keep saying Paul Heyman is the key piece to get away from the Tribal Chief to take him down. He is Roman Reigns Nagini. Comparing him to Voldemort and Nagini. He's like the last Horcrux that needs to be destroyed. And again, yes, Jay getting his full come up it's on Roman. Would be nice to have him be the one to dethrone for the title. That probably will happen at um, Money in the Bank. When the Usos take on Solo and Roman. That will probably happen then. Here's the thing that I'm again a little worried about though. There's been some people saying that Romans never betrayed anybody. Everyone else has betrayed him. And yes, although well, okay, the Seth wasn't Seth. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't um, deserve that one coming. Storyline story line wise, he deserved what he got. Whenever Sammy and then the Usos have turned on Roman, but some people are saying, are they going to use that for Roman to turn face? I don't know about that. Because, I, I mean, then again, after Roman drops the title, maybe he does go back to being a face. Maybe. But the other thing, too, is remember, once Roman drops the title, he's basically going to be on the same schedule as John Cena. He's going full Hollywood. He's already reduced to a part-timer. So... I think that even if he would turn face and be like an attraction here and there, that wouldn't hurt. But if he's still going to be around for quite a bit, yeah, that's what I worry. Again, they're going to make him just that Superman baby face again. But I still, again, I'm going to still say this. I still don't think Jay's going to be the one to take the belt off Roman. At this point, they're probably going to somehow get it to WrestleMania for Cody to do it at WrestleMania 40. But I still even then don't know how we're going to get there that far. Because we, we used to just Cody winning the Rumble again, a whole repeat. It's like, really? SummerSlam still should have been when Roman lost the championship. Of course, it could happen at Payback also. But we shall see. But that's my guys' thoughts. My brief thoughts on main event Jey Uso making his decision turning face. And my thoughts also on the future of Roman Reigns. What are your guys' thoughts on this, this face turn by Jay Uso? The Usos are both officially baby faces once again. Leave your guys' thoughts down in the comments section below. Be sure, as always, to slap a like on the video. Subscribe for more content on my channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Club of the Man 93 And also follow me on TikTok and Instagram at the Club of the Man 1993 Until then, guys, I'm checking out. I'll catch you guys all later. And do not ever forget... In order to be superior to the man, you've got to be the man. And just like Jay Uso this past Friday, I myself am the man himself. Stay tuned for more WWE Turnalert.